Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda, and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about a book. Probably what I consider the most inspiring book that I have heard more photographers talk about for having inspired them, and I certainly like it too, is called The Americans. And I actually don't have a copy of it. I have been looking in used bookstores for I can't tell you how long, the last three years maybe. I'm looking to find a copy of the, the Americans by Robert Frank come up and it never shows up. It just never ever shows up. So finally last summer, probably in May or June, I found a copy, a hard copy on Amazon for $27, which seemed like a good bargain considering a lot of those are $59. So I ordered it and it didn't come. And then weeks go by and then I remember maybe in the late summer getting a notice from Amazon saying, your order has not shipped, they're out of stock, they don't have the ability to fill it, would you like your money back? And I forgot about it and I never canceled the order. So Thursday night, I'm in Boulder, it's a couple nights ago, and I'm at a used bookstore. It's this wonderful used bookstore. If ever you're in Boulder, it's called the Trident Bookstore. And it's a real throwback. It feels like it's something right out of the 70s, and it is. It's been there since 1979, and it's, it really feels like the coffee shop that's attached to it, the people who are there, it's just sort of the, the real coffee shop. If you want to see a coffee shop that feels not like Starbucks, but completely like an authentic thing that's been there for 30 years or 40 years, that's it. And they have a bookstore attached to it, and they have all used books, and there is Robert Frank's The Americans for $34, which of course I'm going to buy. I don't have it. I've never been able to find it. And I was so excited to find it. And I was going to a party that night, and I didn't want to take it to the party. It was at a pub. And so I, I said, you know, I'm just going to leave these on hold, and I'll come back for them. So I left them on hold. I went to the party and I got an email that said, your item has shipped. The Americans had shipped that same day that I was finding it in the bookstore. And it was a hardcover book for 27 instead of a soft cover for 34 at the bookstore. And I was like, what's the chances that I almost buy it, but because of where I'm at and where I'm going, I can't really carry it. I'll come back for it, and then I get noticed that my hardcover has finally gotten stock and it's going to be sent to me. So that should be here in a couple of days, and I look forward to getting it, so I didn't buy it at the bookstore. Instead, I bought the book on, from Bill Owens, but that was a good example of a book that you're looking for. I can't recommend The Americans enough. It's one of those books that I heard Sally Mann in her book talk about. When she saw it, it opened her eyes to what photography can be. I read plenty about Robert Frank and about how he really challenged what America was. America to foreigners was this land of perfect people and opportunity and he showed a part of America that wasn't so perfect. And I enjoyed the book. I've enjoyed many of his photographs I've seen online. The book has many more that you don't see and I was perusing it at the bookstore but I ended up putting it back for somebody else and my copy should be here in a couple of days. But I've heard more people talk about that book and I really can see why, because it is that well done. It's such a, a wonderful book. And surprisingly, when it was made in 1958, <clears throat> he was having a hard time getting it published or sold. So he ended up having Jack Kerouac, who we had met at a party, write a forward to it and that helped boost sales a little bit and get people to see it. But a lot of people still didn't like it because they said it made America look ugly. But Maybe he made America look genuine, and I like that book a lot. I'll put a link to that too if you want to see it and order it. And thanks so much for watching, and if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you some more. All right, see you next time.